Now at four, just over a month following a deadly crash, an Altamont Springs man is now facing a DUI manslaughter charge. Police say 40-year-old Ulysses Mora was driving under the influence back in March when he crashed into a family of four. A nine-year-old girl was killed. Tonight, a memorial is standing where the crash happened along Montgomery Road and Jamestown Boulevard. New 6 is Amanda Castro was live at the Seminole County Jail where that driver is being held. And Amanda, police say they were waiting on toxicology reports to arrest him. Yes, Lisa, and they just got that toxicology report back yesterday, giving them the evidence they needed to make the arrest in this case. That crash happening five weeks ago to the day. According to his arrest report, Mora was out drinking throughout the day and into the evening when he caused that crash, splitting that family's vehicle into two and killing that nine-year-old girl. If you haven't got a copy of the report, Ulysses Mora turned his back to our camera as he faced a judge this afternoon. The 40 year old accused of driving drunk and causing a crash that killed nine year old Kehlani Caro. The crash happened on March 29th at the intersection of Montgomery Road and Jamestown Boulevard in Altamont Springs. Screaming, smoke everywhere. It was horrible. Like, I still can't get the images out of my head. Kehlani's family attorney says they were driving home from bowling when Mora's new Porsche slammed into their vehicle as they were turning left, splitting the car in two. Kehlani and her 12-year-old brother were thrown from the car. Police say she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. According to Mora's arrest report, witnesses say he was going 75 to 80 miles per hour above the posted 40 mile per hour speed limit. The report also says he was drinking throughout the day and had a blood alcohol level of 0.12. A friend inside the car at the time of the crash told officers he thought Mora wanted to, quote, show off his new vehicle. Mora is now facing DUI manslaughter charges. The family's attorney tells us they're grateful for the arrest. We believe that justice will be served um, and that Kehlani's memory will be honored um, and she'll get justice. And Mora's attorney was also in court this afternoon. He told us afterwards that he's going to defend his client and that their hearts do go out to the victim's family. Now, Mora was granted a $15,000 bond. If he is released, he's going to have to wear an alcohol monitor. We, of course, will keep you updated on if he posts his bond here at the Seminole County Jail. Reporting live in Seminole County, Amanda Castro getting results. News 6.